If you're a high school hitter who wants to get better at hitting off speed pitchers, there's a study you might not have heard of that gives some really interesting insights into what it takes to actually get better at hitting curveballs and changeups. In this study, they took a college baseball team of 30 hitters, ran them through an initial test where they were thrown 45 random fastballs, curveballs, and changeups. Then they broke those hitters into three separate, equally talented groups. Then group one was given two extra hitting sessions a week where they got 15 fastballs in a row, then 15 curveballs in a row, then 15 changeups where they were they, they knew what pitch was coming group two was also given 15 fastballs curveballs and changeups but instead they didn't know what pitch is coming this group was throwing the pitchers in a random order so they never knew what to expect and then the third group got no extra practice that was the control they did this for six weeks then retested each group at the end in a random pitch environment again and guess what they found the group that got two sessions of 45 randomized pitches a week improved 50 56 percent better than they scored in their initial test. The group who got two sessions of straight curveballs, fastballs, and changeups where they knew what was coming got 26% better compared to their initial test. And the control group who got no extra hitting got 6% better. That's a pretty big freaking difference for how to get better at hitting off speed stuff. Just one problem though, right? It's really expensive to find pitching machines that can randomly throw pitches for strikes. So if you don't have $10,000 in your budget, what I do is I reach out to local colleges or hitting uh, or high school coaches in my area and I offer to pay their kids or kids who just left their programs money to give our kids live at bats. Where we pay them to come in and try to strike our kids out. Like I'm doing here where my sophomore son can go face a division two left-handed pitcher twice a week where he does live at bats where I tell the pitcher do their best to try to just make him look stupid. Where the hope is if we can see 45 random pitches from pitchers who are as good or better than the pitchers my son is going to see this year in high school that maybe he can be one of those kids who gets 56 percent better than his peers over the next six weeks before we start the spring season. Now this is just one of the several other strategies we're using over the next six weeks building up to the season but if you'd like to learn more about the other strategies we use I'll be posting a new video soon that will go over those other strategies in detail so be sure to like follow or subscribe wherever you're watching this to make sure that you see those strategies when I post them soon